In this video, we're going to build the hips for the Nephili robot project. The hips are made of a powerful motor and a fairly complicated gearbox. We'll design the gears and the gearbox in FreeCAD. Then we'll assemble those. We'll use some infrared emitter detector pairs as sensors so that the hips know if they're going too far and they need to stop. We'll control it all with an Arduino. During the course of making the hips, I made a few upgrades to my printer and I'll show you what I did there. I'm Josh Whitman, CEO of Whitman Technological. Now the hips need to swing and they need to be able to lift both a head which could weigh up to 30 pounds and the feet which could weigh up to 30 pounds so they need to be strong enough to do that and also they need to be able to do it quickly so we're going to design these hips so they can rotate a full 180 degrees in about half a second to do that we're going to need some powerful motors we're going to need to have some pretty uh, substantial reducing gears and we'll 3d print most of these parts and we'll end up with a very noisy but extremely powerful and scary uh, hip mechanism. We'll use infrared emitter and detectors along with a specially designed blocker piece to uh, determine if we've reached the end of our range of motion. So let's jump into the FreeCAD time lapse and build this entire gearbox up from nothing.
We're going to make a couple upgrades to our printer. We're going to add a PEI sheet that will help with bed adhesion and hopefully eliminate the need for the use of hairspray. Also, we're going to replace the physical limit switch with a capacitive sensor. So hopefully our leveling of our print bed before prints each time will be much easier and more consistent. On our first print, it was a disaster and the glass was ejected from the printer. It shattered on the floor and we had to order a new PEI sheet and buy more glass at the hardware store. I was able to cut the corners off the new glass on the first try. We'll use some aluminum angle to make a little bracket to hold our capacitive sensor on the printer. Super precise over here. The sensor worked, but it was pretty erratic, and I couldn't get it to consistently stop at the same place cycle after cycle. So that's when I realized I needed to start supplying the sensor with 12 volts instead of 5 volts. We'd need to drop the voltage coming from the capacitive sensor to something more 5 volt friendly so it wouldn't damage our ramps board. We also had to update the firmware to turn off the pull-up resistor on the sensor pin. Although it still requires a little adjustment before printing, this is a big improvement over the switch that we used to have. This video is made possible by Moneylender Professional. A labor of love since 2004, Moneylender Professional can seamlessly calculate interest and track payments for virtually every type of loan, lease, or contract. Perfect for single users or teams, three loans or a thousand, generate professional, customizable statements and letters, fully auditable, completely configurable. If you have loans, track them with Moneylender Professional. Okay, it looks like we've got all our parts ready to roll out. Let's go ahead and assemble it and write some Arduino code to work with the sensors and control the motor.
That was quite an adventure. Our robot's really coming along. Pretty soon we're going to be writing software that runs all the motors in concert with each other. We made some good progress. I'm very happy about it. I hope you found this video really entertaining. Also, if you're excited about what I'm building here, please comment on the video. That really helps YouTube recommend it to other people. And I'm really thrilled with the feedback I've gotten so far. Uh, you guys have been way more than generous with your comments. Well, looking forward to talking with you again in the next video. I'm Josh Whitman with Whitman Technological. I love science and I hope you do too.